I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years. But no one stumped me more than the princess. I could make shopping an Olympic sport for sure. I love the salon. I love to get my nails done. Clothes, boots, shoes, accessories. I spend the majority of my money on myself. <laughs> I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next six weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. I do feel remorseful for that. I don't believe you. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver. And I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. I have to have it. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Krista. My name is Krista, and I'm 37 years old. I'm a corporate trainer for a local insurance company. Her appearance is top priority. She's got to be beautiful all the time. Krista likes to have the best of the best. Love my clothes. I'm always buying shoes and purses oh. and coats. Doesn't necessarily matter how she gets them, but she wants to have them. I can't really just go into a mall and not actually shop. I love going out for dinner and then do some dancing. I will just pay for the whole round, no questions asked. Krista loves living the single party girl lifestyle. The only problem is she's not single. Thanks. I've been married to Krista for 12 years. Bye, babe. Bye. Okay, honey, I'm leaving now. While Krista heads out night after night, husband Ryan stays home and picks up the tab. I'm always buying clothes, and I'll hide it in my closet or hide shoes under my bed. I do that all the time. If I knew about it, I would freak out. Her secretive spending has caused serious friction in her marriage. I remember him coming upstairs, waking me up in the morning, and just throwing this bill at me. What is this? And she said it was a MasterCard bill. I said, yeah, but it's for like $26,000. I was pretty good for a little while, and then I got some more secret credit cards. And then it happened again, yes. Eventually, her behavior led to a trial separation, and Krista moved out. Ryan was so upset that um, we had to take a break from each other. Eventually, we worked things out, um, but it was tough. It was really tough. Same old story with me. <laughs> I don't believe it's happened again. I sure hope I'm not going to find out on this show that it's happened again. With debts mounting and relationships crumbling, Krista's family and friends have decided to cut her off. And they've called me to confront her about her financial mess. So I guess you love this stuff more than you love Ryan, right? I don't love the stuff more than I love Ryan. Really? Because when he said to you, if you do this again, I'm going to leave your ass, did that stop you from doing it again? No. I do feel remorseful for that. I don't believe you. People who feel remorse tend not to do the same thing again. People who say they feel remorse just use it as an excuse so that people won't think it's badly of them. But I think pretty badly of you. Yeah. Let's see what Krista's mummy has to say. She's been so adept at hiding things, and nobody really knows what's going on. So how much is Ryan willing to accept in their relationship? How much of Krista's debt is he willing to pay off and their marriage can go on? I don't know. Wow. <laughs> My concern is knowing that the strain that already has existed between her and Ryan, if she doesn't get things sorted out, she won't be able to grow old with the people that she loves. I was like, whoa, like, am I really that kind of person? <laughs> Let's see Ryan. Be silly to say that, uh, you know, I 100% trust her. Um, there's always, in the back of my mind, I, I doubt things that she says because of the past. It's devastating. Obviously, we're going to split up. I mean, we would divorce because I can't keep doing that. I can't keep getting further in the hole. And, you know, three strikes. I, two was hard enough, but I mean, the third one I couldn't possibly get past. So does he know about your current credit card debt? No. What are you doing for him? You must be one great lay man. I guess I felt attacked. I wasn't prepared for how harsh it actually was going to be. I thought that I could handle it. <laughs> Clearly, I couldn't. <laughs> but you're going to have to make some big commitments to some big changes. This next few weeks for you are going to be very hard. 
Krista's been hiding her finances from everyone, including her husband, Ryan. Since he's been bankrolling her debt, I thought it only right that he also be here while I unveil some hard truths. You're saving absolutely nothing. Your debt repayment is eating up about 28% of your income. Your needs are eating up about $1,300, which represents about 41% of your income. But here's a really interesting thing. You're spending $3,376 on your wants. That's 106% of your income. She's contributing nothing to the household. When did you do your last consolidation loan? Uh, last year. $52,000 of debt into your house. Sure. So do you imagine that there's any new debt? I hope there isn't. She's racked up another $7,000 in credit card debt. Gave her every opportunity to come clean. I don't know. Guess she thought it'd be better this way. It's not. I thought we'd kind of gone through this all before and that was going to stop, so... Kind of surprised a little. I feel like I'm a horrible person because I've let down my husband who believes in me and trusts me that I would never do it again, and I did. What do you think? I uh, don't know what to think. I'm a little upset, to be honest with you. You're making about $47,000 a year gross. To have the lifestyle you have right now, you'd have to make 81,005. To have the lifestyle you have now and pay off your debt, you'd need to make 105,000 a year. You're standing there twitching, right? Yeah, 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 I'm ready to go right now. But don't, because you've held on this long, okay? Mm-hmm. Because we can either fix this, or you can do whatever you want at that point. So it all ends here today. Are you ready to commit to doing whatever it takes to fix this situation and potentially save your marriage? Yes. You're sure? 100% positive. This is not just lip service? It's not. Okay. No bitching. No whining. This is about taking control of your money and your life. Do what I ask, complete my challenges, and I'll give you up to $5,000 to help meet one of your goals. If you don't do it, or if you have the wrong attitude, you don't get the money. Okay? Understood. You are going to learn to stand on your own two feet. You are going to learn to live within your means. And you are going to get off Ryan's pocket. You're going to give me your debit card and your credit cards, because they're gone. Coming up, Krista takes it all off. Film a little naked. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Krista is a 37-year-old corporate trainer. Her reckless consumerism has almost cost her her marriage and the family home. Three times you have buried your consumerism in this house. Krista is a master manipulator. I know I have a good two hours to get home before Ryan does, so I can hide my tags and my bags. I put them in our outside garbage. But this bag is out of tricks, and her husband has one foot out the door. She has to prove to her family and herself that she can stand on her own two feet. OK, so we come to your first challenge. This is your get real challenge. The first thing you have to do is you have to make a budget that balances. OK. And I want you to take over control of the money. OK. I'm going to give her an allowance, and her allowance will be $150 a week. But it has to do for her beauty, it has to do for her transportation. Everything comes out of that $150 a week. Krista was spending $100 a month on makeup, plus another $40 on fake eyelashes. Hello, guys. For her Get Real Challenge, I wanted to show Krista that this excess was not only affecting her financially, but also professionally. I asked her to give a presentation to two separate juries, one with the makeup she's used to and one without. My name is Krista and I'm actually going to uh, be giving you a presentation today on effective business communication. Her whole demeanor and look was not uh, for the corporate world. And if anyone catches a spelling error that I didn't catch, then you guys get a prize. The blue hair really took away from her credibility. Tone it down a little bit. You're making a first impression here. Thanks so much for coming and enjoy the rest of your day. 
For this challenge, I wanted to show Krista how to cut back on the heavy makeup and slash her spending. So we brought in our makeup artist to remove Krista's mask and apply minimal foundation, lip gloss, and mascara. Feeling a little, little naked. Hi guys, how are you today? Good. Great. Um, I just want to first of all thank you for coming. She was dressed neatly. The glasses gave her a very professional demeanor. Today we're going to be talking about business uh, correspondence and why it's so important within the workplace. I thought she was lovely. She was well put together and she's got hood spun. I thought she was great. I hope that you guys learned something today. I wanted Krista to take this stripped down approach and apply it to her household budget. With a strict allowance going towards her variable expenses, Krista is now able to contribute more towards joint expenses like mortgage and utilities. Problem is, with the recent downturn in her industry, Krista found out this week that she has been downsized. So I sat down with Krista to plan out the process of finding a new job. So we're going to create the goal setting process for getting a job. Okay. Okay. You have to answer the why question. Because you don't have a freaking job come the end of December. That's right. The what. What kind of job are you going to get? You have to lay out the steps. Do the when, which is setting the timeline on each of those things. Because if you don't have the date, then what happens is there's nothing to hold you accountable. How realistic is it? What kind of job are you going to get? Who? Who can help you? Can Ryan help you? Can your HR department help you? Can your boss help you? Where in your priorities is this particular goal? Getting a job has got to be an A priority because without it, your budget won't work, your debt repayment plan won't work, nothing will work. I want you to use the same process mm -hmm. to set a long-term goal. And your long-term goal will be to get your driver's license. What is holding you back, girl? 40 years old, can't try. It's always been in my five-year plan for the last 15 years to actually obtain my license. So now I think it's kind of um, pushed me to the point where I have to get over my anxiety and my issues and really focus on it. Coming up, Krista gets acquainted with the basics of driving. Use the front Hello. lines to drive. That's, that's oh, the windshield wipers. I touched something. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Krista is a corporate trainer addicted to shopping. I am definitely a, a bit of a shopaholic. Maybe more than a bit. Her husband, Ryan, is sick of her constant manipulation. It uh, makes you not trust them anymore. So along with family and friends, he's decided to cut her off. Taxis were costing Krista an average of about $400 a month. So this week, I'm asking her to grab hold of the wheel and get back on the road. While he's good at driving, he's not so good at teaching. All right, so you know what you're doing, right? Pull that in towards you, down into R. Is okay. it in R right now? No, nope, easy whoa, with whoa, the whoa, gas, please, easy. Okay. That's all right. He has, uh, in the past, definitely um, caused me to become stressed out on the road. Woo! So practice your braking. Pretend you're driving up to the parking spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Demol's easy. Okay, so you're just, you're gonna park into that parking spot. Like this? Yeah. Cranking. Oh my god, I'm doing it. Then you can use the front whoa. lines to that's the gas, not the brake. Yeah. Why don't you try it again? I'm going to. Hey. Yeah. I forgot I was in reverse. Sorry. I'm in a drive, so I have to go reverse. No, that's, that's the windshield wipers. I touched something. That's the windshield wipers. Okay, don't touch that. Luckily, we were close by the hospital. Things go awry. <laughs> After taking a stab at her long-term goal behind the wheel, Krista set out to tackle her short-term goal of finding a job. She's been working very hard, setting up meetings. She sent out about 40 resumes. Hopefully, she can find something. You know, she's got some promising leads. We just have to basically play the waiting game now. She's taken some major steps towards changing her ways, so I want to check in on that before issuing her last challenge. Are you getting more comfortable with the new face? I'm definitely um, not as freaked out anymore. Are you more accepting of the fact that you're beautiful? I'm more accepting of the fact that um, this is what I look like without a lot of makeup. Ryan like this? 
the new, more simplified Krista. He likes the no time that it takes me to get ready. I have a sense that there's a calmness to you. Because there's not a lot of secrecy anymore. I'm feeling more um, secure and I'm feeling more confident in our relationship. Now it's time to put these lessons to the test. So I've brought Krista and her friends here to do just that. I'm going to show you what's in each box, one at a time. Okay. Each of these comes with a price tag. You must choose one. Okay. Two rules right off the top. Once I offer you something and you reject it, you can't go back. And whatever you accept will come off that big fat check at the end. So are you ready? I am. For this challenge, I wanted to test Krista's determination. Let's see how she fares when her friends try to sway her with their choices. Your first choice is, remember that beautiful black jacket you saw that looks so snappy on you? Yep. $200. It was a super awesome jacket that looked really cute on me. <laughs> But there's just four more boxes. Yeah. Keeper or reject? I'm going to reject that. OK. Darn. Choice number two, a house cleaning service, $350. Keeper or reject? I honestly don't know, because that is something I really, really want. More than a black jacket, it seems. More than a black jacket at this point. And more than what may come next. And we know that's a point of contention. Yeah, that's only a one-time uh, offer, so. I'm actually going to take it. Oh, no. <gasps> <laughs> Want to see what's in the rest of the boxes? I don't know. I'm scared now. Your third choice, uh -oh. Oh. dinner out with the girls. Your fourth choice, sporting event package for yourself and Ryan oh. worth $400. Oh. <sighs> And your fifth choice, a spa oh. day, <laughs> including your hair, waxing, pedicure, and a manicure worth $500. I so want to pick that up. OK, you know what? I'm going to give you an opportunity to go back and reverse your decision so that you can actually have the thing you really want. <laughs> I'm going to go to the sporting event. I wanted to choose something or do something that I knew that Ryan could be a part of and that I could share with him. Whereas before, I would just have totally gone for that spa package. OK. Yeah. You're going to spend $400 of your money. Yep. Do you think he'll be happy with this? Oh, I definitely know he'll be happy okay. with that. I wouldn't really tell him where we were going uh, until we got there. And as soon as we pulled up to the audience, like, are we going to a hockey game? I was like, surprise. <laughs> Overall, he was really excited and happy that I would do that. Yeah, I was feeling pretty bad at the beginning about our relationship, the way things were going, that uh, it seemed pretty pointless. But I'm feeling a lot better that she's changed and she's realized that she can't keep going the way she was. So it's been good. Coming up, has Krista changed? People wake up and go, I don't know why my partner left me. Hello. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, oh, oh. She's a princess. Krista was a shopaholic princess with a bad case of narcissism. I'll sort of notice that the eyes are doing this, and I'll look, and I'll be like, oh, we're standing in front of a patio door, so you're looking at your reflection. Her self-absorbed attitude was tearing her marriage apart. They've been separated before, and uh, I mean, they only did get back to together this summer. Her reckless spending brought them to the brink of bankruptcy. You've consolidated thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of debt into your house. Fed up, Ryan and family called me in. I removed Krista's mask and made her come to terms with her inner self. When dealt the harsh blow of layoffs at work, I challenged her to curb her spending addiction and live on a strict cash budget. Before I can give my final verdict, I wanted to check in with Ryan to get his thoughts on Krista's transformation. You guys are tighter than ever because you're actually working together as a team. Yep. Yeah. And I can't believe how well she did. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Krista! I really have done like a transformation of sorts. Like I really struggled with who I actually was during all this and I'm still working on that, but I definitely feel much better, I think, as even a person. And how does it feel to have a really good relationship again? Actually, it feels really good to yeah. just, you know, just feel comfortable and not be stressed out anymore and just yeah. have everything out in the open. For so long, you had taken it for granted that you just thought he would always put up with your crap. Yep. Yeah, not so much. Sometimes people wake up and go, I don't know why my partner left me. Hello. <laughs> I've been sending you big signals. But this is one of those situations where we caught it in time. 
Okay, so what was the hardest part of this whole process? Definitely very freaked out about not wearing the makeup. At first, that was my big hardest thing. Do you see yourself as beautiful now? I'm not like freaking out when I look at myself in the mirror anymore. And just the thought of going through the whole process of like doing makeup again, I'm like, oh my God, I just have so much time to sleep now. And while I still have those insecurities and those um, feelings that are still there, I definitely have come a long way in really um, changing the way I think about how I'm perceived by other people. Your short-term goal became to get another job. Yep. What kind of progress have you made? Actually, we've had lots of progress Big even progress. today. Um, today alone, I've got two uh, in-person interviews. Okay, so make sure you stay on the job hunt mm -hmm. with the debt that you have. You guys can't afford to be living on one income, so you need to make sure that that's in place. Because the debt repayment plan we set up for you is based on two incomes. That should have you out of debt in the next five years, mm -hmm. right? So make sure you stay with that, and then you'll be back on track. Probably the thing that told the most in all of this was when you had to choose from those prezies. Mm -hmm. Up until then, it had all been for you. Everything was for you. And now you were actually putting him first and you made major points with me. Okay? Yay. Yes. <laughs> I consider you my biggest success so far. Yeah, wow. <laughs> I hope you are as proud of her as I am. For sure. Okay, no question. 5,000. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That's not all. In light of the fact, that you were so willing to give up what you really wanted for what Ryan would really enjoy, I'm also gonna give you the cleaning package. Yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> I feel really great about the place that Ryan and I are at now. I feel like we're actually, you know, unified and together more and, you know, really talking and communicating. I got my wife back. She hasn't been around for quite a while. She's back. I feel good about that. $5,000 aside, the whole Ryan and Crystal relationship coming around has been awesome. I can tell, I can tell she loves to go. Shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. A princess, she's a princess, modern day princess.